welcome back everyone so yes this malware can really hijack your banking email social account and many other kind of online account so first let me explain that what does this malware do so basically this cookie hijacking can occur when a malware program wait for a user to log into their website then the malware steal the session cookie and send it to the attacker and a cookie attack is often initiated when an attacker send a user a fake login but there are some dangerous cookie malware that will even steal your banking detail email youtube or other social media account so it's always recommended that you should clear the cookies and the cache before closing the browser or shutting down your computer and this problem can be both with the home user and even with the business owner or social influencer especially because nowadays what i have seen that many hackers they are sending some kind of fake sponsorship email attaching some kind of link pdf and they want you to open and sign where probabilities are that those link or attachment contain the malware and even if you are a basic home user who do the basic activities like email banking then they probably send you the fake popper from the bank provider like from microsoft from any kind of your bank or even from the paypal so you will have to be aware of these kind of fake pop up or any kind of email that is not exactly coming from the official website and not only this this dangerous malware can even hijack your account without clicking on any kind of link just using your browser cookies so you might have a question now that is your antivirus not exactly detecting it so antivirus does their job but these hackers play more smarter role and bypass many things so you don't have to be fully depend on your antivirus and will have to take your own precaution and protection so now let's see how you can secure your account and pc from getting hijacked or getting hacked so the very first thing that i would recommend you that keep your windows and drivers up to date so click on your windows search just type update click on check for update and you can check here if there is any kind of update available kindly go ahead and update it and next you have to come to this github website and you have to download the configure defender so basically it just configured and enhance the security of your microsoft defender so come to this page then you have to click on code click on download zip once it get downloaded it will be downloaded in a zip file so right click on it click on extract all click on extract once extracted you will be getting this kind of folder just make a double click on it and double click configure defender.exe click on yes and this kind of configure defender dashboard will be up now here at the top it will give you the protection level so you can keep this to maximum that what i would recommend you then you will have to click on continue now it will be applying the settings click on okay click on hide max protection level configured so basically what it does that it just enhance and give you the advanced security of windows and you can read here it says behavior monitoring block at first sight cloud delivered protection automatic sample submission potentially unwanted application protection so you need to keep this on you have to make sure that all of them are being enabled cloud protection level you have to keep this to block and cloud check time limit will be remaining to 60 only so basically you don't have to do any changes here then you can come below in the smart screen you can keep this to block for explorer for edge and for internet explorer exploit guard you can keep all these enabled and if you want to read about them you can read it okay so once you have enabled all these settings now you will be having the enough protection now and majority of the time these are unwanted applications or any kind of malware will not be able to access your computer or enter into your device okay so once you are done now you can close it and if you need a detailed information about this configure defender so that you can get the maximum windows security for absolutely free then let me know in the comment section and now next you have to bring up the file explorer then you have to click on this three dot on windows 11 then you have to click on options and the folder options will now be up now here from the top you have to click on view and then you'll find hidden files and folder just make sure that this option is always being selected to show hidden file folder and drive now i'm not sure why windows keep this selected to don't show hidden file because it's always recommended that you should find all the extension of the application or any kind of file or any kind of pdf 
So basically what will happen if you keep this selected to don't show hidden file and if you access any kind of file or any kind of PDF, any kind of Excel file, it will not show you the extension of that particular file. And then you will not be sure that whether you are opening a PDF file or any kind of malware with .exe extension. And even you have to be careful. So next time, whenever you get any kind of link or any kind of application, any kind of attachment, and before clicking on it, just assure that what kind of extension it contain. And now next, you also need to be aware of the typo squatting or the URL hijacking, where many times we type some kind of wrong address. For example, if you want to open youtube.com, so this is the youtube.com link, but mistakenly you type the wrong URL, like you type W. So in such cases, chances are that a wrong address you typed is owned by some kind of hacker and that website also look almost like YouTube. And now you are thinking that yes, you are on a YouTube and once you start using it, so what will happen once you enter any kind of information over there, they will steal the cookie or any kind of information and that can also become the cause of hijacking or hacking. And this is exactly the reason I told you in the beginning that you have to take your own precaution while browsing just keep in mind that you are browsing the right website and for a better solution i would also recommend you that you can go and enjoy the ublock origin extension that will be giving you a kind of warning before going with this kind of website and it will let you know that the website is incorrect now additionally there are many different ways that can be useful for you like you can take a help of virustotal.com it's a free website, so you have to come to this website, Virus Total. You can search in the Google and you have to click on this website, virustotal.com. Now, what you can do many times you want to visit any kind of website or you have downloaded any kind of file from the Internet or from the email and you're not sure that whether they are safe or not. So what you can do, you can simply just copy that website. Come to the virustotal.com. If you want to check the website, then click on the URL section, paste the website, hit the enter key. Now it will be scanning this website and it will let you know that whether this website is safe or not. If not, then it will be surely flagged by someone with any kind of security and it will let you know. All right. So now on my end, you can see no security vendor flag this URL as malicious. So I'm now good to go and check this website. Similarly, if you have any kind of file, then you can come to the file section click on choose file select the file click on open a part of that i would also recommend you to go with an extension that is a very powerful extension and for absolutely free the name of this extension is squarex i have already created a video on this topic so if you need a detailed information you can check that video as well so once you come to their website you just have to download the extension once downloaded you will find the extension bar at the right and top now, once you click here, you can see that it gives you a different kind of option like disposable browser. So you can open a disposable browser with these kind of different location and then you can browse any kind of website which will be automatically deleting all the activities, all kind of your information once you close it. Similarly, you can use the disposable file viewer to view any kind of file. You can also do the disposable email that will be helping you uh, to share your email on many kind of platform where you don't want to share your own personal or private email. They also provide you the smart integration which you have to keep it enabled and it says enable in browser detection and mitigation of online threat protect you against malicious website file contents and network. So this is a very powerful tool, very powerful extension and it's really recommended that you should get it right now on your browser and now my last recommendation is that you can also go with a virtual machine and you can get it through the sandbox you can download many kind of virtual machine like vmware or the virtual box now what basically this virtual machine does it allow you to download any kind of operating system virtually on your windows pc or laptop only and then you can browse any kind of website you can do any kind of private browsing you can open any kind of a uh, tool you can open any kind of website any kind of application and nothing will be infected nothing will affect your real computer so there is a very low chance of getting hacked if you go and enjoy the virtual machine on your device and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this information useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye